Motion in a plane. In this section, we shall see how to describe motion in two dimensions using vectors. Position vector. The position vector R of a particle P located in a plane with reference to the origin of an x y reference frame is given by R bar equals to x i cap plus y j cap where x and y are components of r bar along x axis and y axis are simply they are the coordinates of the object displacement delta r bar suppose the particle is at a point p at time t and p dash at time t dash the displacement is Delta R bar equals to R dash bar minus R bar in component form. Delta R bar equals to X dash Y cap plus Y dash J cap minus X I cap plus Y J cap. That implies Delta R bar equals to Delta X I cap plus delta y j cap where delta x equals to x dash minus x delta y equals to y dash minus y velocity v bar the average velocity v bar of an object is the ratio of the displacement and the corresponding time interval v bar equals to delta r bar by delta t equals to delta x i cap plus delta y j cap by delta t delta x bar by delta t i cap plus delta y bar by delta t j cap that implies delta v bar equals to delta v x bar i cap plus delta v y bar j cap the instantaneous velocity is given by the limiting value of the average velocity as the time interval approaches zero that is v bar equals to limit delta t tends to zero delta r bar by delta t equals to d r bar by dt acceleration a bar the average acceleration a of an object for a time interval delta t moving in x y plane is the change in velocity divided by the time interval a bar equals to delta v bar by delta t equals to delta v x i cap plus v y j cap by delta t equals to delta vx by delta t i cap plus delta vy by delta t j cap that implies a bar equals to ax i cap plus ay j cap the instantaneous acceleration is the limiting value of the average acceleration as the time interval approaches zero that is a bar equals to limit delta t tends to zero delta v bar by delta t equals to delta v bar by dt a bar equals to limit delta t tends to zero delta v x i cap plus delta v y j cap by delta t a bar equals to i cap limit delta t tends to zero delta vx by delta t plus j cap limit delta t tends to zero delta vy by delta t that implies a bar equals to ax i cap plus ay j cap where ax equals to dvx by dt ay equals to dvy 
by DT.